And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Texas rapper Erica Banks is getting dragged in the mud after sharing a list of requirements for being her friend. She said if a girl doesn't look a certain way, meaning thick, cute, fine, well, they cannot hang with her. Let's hear what the ladies from Girl Talk, what they have to say about this tonight. The ladies are here for Girl Talk, so you guys heard what Erica Banks had to say. You got to roll right when you roll with her, especially to the club. Can't be too damn skinny, can't be too damn big. She wants that thick, uh, just right. Is that the way you guys are with your friends? <laughs> hey, um, I, okay, I'll, I'll go first. So I'll say this. At one point in my life, I was that person. When I was in high school, probably early college, you know, my younger days, like as far as my friends, we all wanted to look away. And it was a, such a superficial friendship. Um, I had no idea about the value of friendship. I just knew we were cute. We were going to the club and we just looked good. There was a lot of backstabbing. It was just so unhealthy. As you mature as a woman, you realize the value. What are your core values and things that you appreciate in friendships and relationships? And unfortunately, Miss Erica Bain, uh, that's not the way it is. You know what I mean? You can have all the, what it aesthetically have looked like, but it's all about the inside. Like people that support you, people that care about you, that want to make sure you go further in your career. So you can save it with all the look, look thick, looking good. You know, I feel like she's in the upstarting of her, whatever her direction, her career is. And eventually she will learn, but that's not the way to go, sis. You want some people that support them, no matter if they're not as thick as fine or y'all got your BBLs done together. That ain't it. So exactly. in her mind, that's what she believes, what um, she believes that's the image she wants to portray. And so it's fake. It's fake as hell. Karen, let's hear from you. I mean, just like Jasmine said, this girl's on her come up and this is just not the way to come up by canceling people in this way. You know, we're living in an era where we're trying to push the narrative of body positivity. We already know that, you know, there are so many factors out there affecting the way that people feel about the way that they look and sending this message is a way that it's just uh, canceling or blocking people for looking a certain way. And I really don't understand why people in glass houses have to be throwing stones like this because she ain't it <laughs> right she is right. not it and right. i just you know i just feel like god don't like ugly and <laughs> that's that's what i have to say about well, her well jasmine and, and karen you always hear especially in cases like this involving celebrities them talking in the future about how so many people took advantage of them people they thought were their friends and it's because you pick friends for superficial reasons like this oh let me exactly. tell you I, I, sorry i'll go karen but um i'll say this like i said before i picked friendships that we were cute what they look like who we know and it was some of the most unhealthy relationships you know mm -hmm. she'll eventually learn and if she has the right team around her or influencers or people that have been in the game the music entertainment they'll also let her know that too you know that's just not the route because what are you going to do body shame your your um your fans, you know, mm -hmm. you got to look like this. You got to be like this, you know, so she, I really, really believe she's going to lose a lot of fan support on that because it could be that skinny girl that download and streamed all your music. You know what I mean? It could be that girl that didn't have the best body that was really supporting you. And mm -hmm. she just really put her foot in her damn mouth. Really? Right. So, right. Just, you just, you just on your come up. Right, you, let them learn. <laughs> you, you cannot be canceling your fan base because there's a lot of people that are going to, turn on her and just backlash her for just speaking so shallowly it's just vile it's disgusting it's really disgusting and right now in this world with everybody getting you know having these issues with body shaming and skin tone and all of that how dare you get on to say what they look like now what if someone does what is it what was reversed right and mm -hmm. a guy said that about her or they said this about her before she got her body done and what her before and after look like you know right like what are those that's that's just not the way to be and it's so sad honestly that the younger women right now whether it's my age or younger or older, there's a superficial lifestyle that we're in. And based on social media, based on what this is, and actual core values of having good people, good energy, a soft life, like we call it, the values mm -hmm. of life. And everything is so fake right now, including mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. I have said it. 
Uh, only person right. I'm worried. Only person I'm worried about uh, looks are as far as looks are concerned. I'm only worried about me. Right. <laughs> Nobody. Right. Else. Right. That's ridiculous. Yo, 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 got it today. So same on it. you, Miss Erica Bay. But you know, I'm, I like Megan Thee Stallion anyway, baby. At, uh, I only know Megan Thee Stallion would say anything. Are you saying, are you saying that Erica's a cheap ripoff? <laughs> I said You That's said fire. it, but I said it. And what I said is what I said. I like Megan Thee Stallion anyway. <laughs> Erica Banks, I didn't say it, they did. Don't come for me.